Okay, so before I start today's setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like, it helps my channel out a lot and it also gets you retro emulation content as I upload it, which is pretty much daily nowadays. So we're looking at Mega Bezels today. So first thing I'm going to say is that this is only going to be available on Vulcan, but I'm going to be showing you that in a minute. And another thing to mention is that this is only going to be available using Retro Watch Chorus within RetroBat. So what we're going to do then is head into RetroBat. Okay, so once we're inside a retro bat, the first thing we're going to want to do is go to main menu and you can access this by pressing start on your controller and we're going to go down to updates and downloads and first of all, we're going to go to content downloader and from here, if you use your D-pad just to move across and if you're using an earlier version of retro bat, if you're on version 5 stable, you'll still have mega bezels to download on there. So the one I'm going to download, and there's plenty here to download, is the version 6 Coco AIO. Uh, you can feel free to download any of these. Each pack contains different features, but this is a fairly basic one. So I'm going to download this. I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to just go for update. Uh, it will download on your end and then it will install and it will be ready to go. So we're going to come out of here and the next thing I'm going to recommend if you really want a really cool looking screen for playing your retro games is from updates and downloads, go down to the bezel project and download bezels. So what bezels do, it gives your uh, 4x3 games where you've got the black bars on the side of your screen images and it looks really cool but the most coolest thing is that we can actually combine the bezel project with mega bezels to really make things look awesome so in my case i'm going to be downloading the packs for nintendo nets that's what i'm going to be showing you today again i've already installed this but on your end you won't see update or remove you can just install it so what we're going to do first is actually go into the game system. In this case, it's Nintendo NES for me for this setup guide. And once we're in that system, we can view options by pressing select. Now, just bear in mind that this is only going to work with RetroWatch cores. If you've downloaded an emulator through RetroBat, this isn't going to work. And another thing to bear in mind is that this is only going to work on Vulkan video drivers. But I'm going to show you that again in a minute. So in view options, advanced system options. And what we're going to do under shader set is take a look at what we just downloaded. So for example, I've just downloaded the Coco AIOs. And that's of course the mega bezels. So you've got lots of different ones here to explore in a single pack. And the first one I'm going to check out is flickering. So you can see what this does. So what I'm going to do first is go to decorations and as we can see here the bezel project is now showing but first of all I'm going to just put none on this so you can see the full effect. Now the next thing we need to do is like I was saying we need to enable Vulcan. So if we go into the advanced settings section and you're going to see drivers if you go into the video section it's already selected to auto and it normally is in RetroBat. We need to select Vulcan for this to work. So come back and back again and open the game. So as we can see there, the mega bezels are creating that reflection on the sides of the screen. Okay, next thing I'm going to show to funk this up a little bit, if we go back to advanced system options, this time under decorations, we can enable the bezel project. Now what I'm going to do next is go back into the game. So as we can see, we combined both of those and we can still see the effect of the mega bezels. So this time I'm going to disable mega bezels. So if we go up to none and I'm going to just use that decoration, which is a bezel project. But 
we've still got game aspect ratio set to full. So remember that when you're using decorations or the bezel project, your game aspect ratio should be set to 4 by 3 And as you can see, the Mega Bezels has now disappeared. We no longer have that slight scan line on the screen. So that's it for today's RetroBat setup guide for the Bezel Project and Mega Bezels. So as we see in the video, by combining both of these things, we can actually make the screen look like a legitimate real CRT TV to make your retro games look that much older and more nostalgic for you. So anyways, if you liked today's setup guide, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro bat and other retro emulation content that I cover on my channel. Also, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.